to all my weed smoking fans out there who don't have a lot of money and want to save as much of what they got as possible. What I do is I get my weed after I buy it and it's usually bone dry because that's honest. You're not buying water weight. And then I put a little uh, orange peel in there or something, you know, get a little moist so it's not going to, you know, just burn up. And I roll it up into a little ball and like this, <laughs> starting to come apart and voila, and I load it. And so we're going to do a little test. See how many hits Dan Quinn can get off this, all right, compared to what you guys are doing, you know. That's one. No. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> That's one, baby. <coughs> and you know, <coughs> I'm going to go for <coughs> a lot more than that. You know, I don't know how many uh, hits you're getting off your weed yourselves, but think about it. If it's not crispy, okay, if it's pliable, I mean, I'm not talking wet, damp, like it just rained, but you ever seen a forest that's uh, damp? And it catches fire somehow. Fucking some kid starts it, whatever. And it smokes and smokes and smokes. Well, isn't that what you want with your weed? Well, you know what? How are you looking like it's been touched? You know? Um, shit, we'll just do this. Shiz Nick. You know what's a trip is that everybody out there talking shit on me, for the most part, is a younger audience, you know. Uh, misanthropes, a bunch of you, uh, never done much of anything, never will, talking shit on me. And it's too bad that the older crowd, you know, the 40-something guys and gals that, you know, have a little chicken neck, you know, turkey neck, whatever, uh, it's gone because I'm banging Stevia, okay? No shit. Now, it's lucky for a lot of you guys that I don't have Jennifer on my arm. Or, I mean, I do have Jennifer. Um, what, that, 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 whatever. Okay. Uh, what I'm saying is, uh, cause, nah, let's not even go there. I was going to talk about the banging thing, but you know what? When God fucking puts a beauty like that right in my lap and says, uh, there you go, kid. Here's your shot. You know what? Make it count. <laughs> For sure, I'm taking the ball and running for a touchdown, and I'm not going to fumble, all right? You know, it's amazing, man. If you're not fucking hitting the weed right with the flame, burning it up, burning it up, going, 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 gone. You can just fucking rock and roll on the same shit. I mean, for days, just smoking it. even fucking halfway there, fools. You know what? I mean, this is the shiznit. <coughs> it's funny. <coughs> Trip. You know what? I wish I could get into different audiences. Uh, is my mom going to come up and queer this fucking deal? God. What? Okay, I know. Yeah. You know what I'm doing is I'm um, making weed 2 uh boiling water. Boy, I mean, what I did is I put weed 
pure H2O and uh, it's got a lot of stevia in it and a little oil to get the THC out of it when I'm boiling it and I blended it and then I boil it and then I fucking add a lot of stevia and drink it and I tell you what crazy horse I swear to God I hope it's you because you seem fairly cool man and uh, you know what <laughs> it'll be a painful lesson man on being uh, you know prejudiced thinking that this white boy can't punch tell you what dude uh, punching punching I'm real fucking good I mean real motherfucking good and I don't know what this dude is fucking thinking walking down and making a step like to my fucking door you know I mean there's too many fucking guys out there that basically oh this guy is fucking hustling making money you know what <laughs> You know, I'm thinking he's a dick, something to it. But anyways, man, uh, too many guys, out, just too many fucking guys in general. I've lost count, you know, but we still got quite a bit more spoke. See... Um, the whole uh, component of weed can smoke. Um, you just don't burn and then it's gone. You get a little damp and just add just enough heat, okay? Just enough to smoke it because there's a big difference. If you go too hot, if you go too fucking hot, sometimes it won't even start to smoke until you back it off a little bit, you know? Uh, it's a trip. Just things that you pay attention to over the years that don't really lead to any money in your hand. But, you know, money in your pocket. Because you don't have to go out and, you know, buy weed as much. And I did the same thing with methamphetamine. And, you know what? There's a lot of tricks that I could fucking tell you. And I don't know if it'd be illegal or not. But if there was the dope smoking Olympics for marijuana and for methamphetamine. I'm thinking I'm placing top three, definitely. And you know what? If I didn't get the uh, podium, because uh, we didn't pay off one of those male judges from, you know, one of the used to be Eastern Bloc countries. Because you know what? They were like, fuck it. <laughs> uh, give me some money and you'll get some points. Oh, you want two points? Well, that costs $20,000, my friend, because I can live for a long time on that. You know, I mean, it's all about money. It's all about fucking greed. And you know what is a trip? is the guys out there <coughs> about two minutes <laughs> you know what I don't have any fucking hits I've done on this bad boy but I'm liking it, man. I mean, I'm feeling it. It's like this. Uh, I wouldn't ever try to drive, okay? But what I would do is step into a cage, uh, which I'm going to do, and I'm going to have six-ounce gloves on, and I'm going to have blazing fucking firepower to the point where I was every bit as fast, okay? Uh, maybe not as many times as DJ, but just as fast, okay, on my punches. And it was, it was thrilling. To actually hang with a fucking young stud warrior like that. No shit. Because I'm thinking that when some of you sacks of shit that are talking shit on me step the fuck up to the plate, you know what's going to happen, motherfuckers? Oh my God, I'm going to have super glue in my corner. Just in case one of your punches, you know, kind of gets lucky and grazes me and cuts me, I'm not going to fucking stop. Guarantee it. I will be like soldiers in Vietnam. They will field stitch me. I will fucking keep going. And if you don't believe me, assholes, ask anybody that see me fucking fight. <coughs> I have sick will and determination, motherfuckers. And you know what? When I get mad, it's a fucking bizarre thing. No shit. Ask anybody in Encinitas, California, 
asked Pete Carroll, uh, Scott Cosman, Jim Kranz, uh, let's see, Craig Tusher, uh, am I leaving any of my friends out that might have been at Juanita's that night when I actually knocked five guys unconscious with one punch, maybe two. I don't remember having to really, you know, double up. And uh, I'm thinking they could make a fuck, they could make a fucking movie out of that shit. And I hope I'm not too far. Bing.